What's up, boys and girls, everybody out there in YouTube land? It's your boy DJ Too Legit, and today is the first day of my new, I guess I will call it a podcasting series. I don't know. All I know that is it's a new year, 2022, and I'm trying to do something different with my DJ channel. For many years, I've been doing all kinds of gig logs, and you know what? I'm starting to get bored with gig logs. Why? Because it seems like I'm just showing you guys the same old thing all the time. Yeah, it'll be a new venue sometime, a new client, whatever, but it's always the same. I tell you I'm doing a gig log, I show up to the venue, I show you what the venue looks like, I show you where I'm going to set up, I show you setting up the equipment, what equipment I'm using, I start DJing, people dance, have a great time, I tear down, I go home. I mean, you've seen that a million times from me. So I'm a little bit bored with it myself. So we're going to start something new this year. So in this podcasting series, I want to talk about DJ furniture. Yep, DJ furniture. One thing that I've noticed about DJs is that DJs like to do the what I call monkey see, monkey do. Like they see one DJ do something and it'll become popular and then all the DJs just follow suit and, and copy and do the same thing. So as far as DJ furniture, back in the 70s, 80s, 90s, we only had one option, and that option was the good old standard folding table or banquet table. And I have a picture of it. This is it right here. This thing has gotten DJs through years of service with no problems at all. If, if the only problem that it might have had was maybe it was too short for a lot of DJs, but it still got the job done. Truthfully, this is what I still use today. Over all the other options that are out, I prefer this right here. Now, there was a table that came out a little while ago, and it was called the ADJ Pro Event Table. And there's the ADJ Pro Event Table right there. A lot of DJs were buying this thing and using it. Even I bought it. But the only reason I bought it was because I had just started video DJing, and Brian S. Red had posted a video showing how he mounted a television to this thing and I thought that was ingenious. I said I had had one of those because I wanted to start bringing a TV monitor to my gigs. So I purchased one. I ended up selling it a couple years later because for me, I'm a short DJ. I'm only 5'6". And to me, the ADJ Pro Event Table is made for DJs who are at least six feet tall. So it was too tall for me. I got rid of it. I don't use it anymore. I still use a standard folding table. So what happened was that thing went away and DJ started to use a different type of table. This is what I call the, the Joe Bunn style table, <laughs> if you will. Joe Bunn, he was like the first person that I can recall that had this sort of table. I'll show you a picture of it right here. Here's the Bunn Command Center, I think he calls it. But this table you're seeing a lot everywhere. You're seeing this type of table all over the place, all over the internet, and people are like dying to have this thing. Now, the thing that I don't understand, this thing costs upwards of two grand. $2,000, especially when you customize it or get all the extras that come with it, because they don't come with it. You have to buy the extras like cases and the stand that holds the laptop. All this stuff is extra hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So you're upwards close to $3,000 just to have that piece of furniture for a DJ. What it is, it's a table. It's a table to hold your DJ equipment. You're paying three grand for me. I'll show you what I use right here. I'm going to show you my setup. Here's one of my basic setups right here. Okay, let's shrink that down. All right, that's me right there. If you look at both pictures together and you compare, the Joe Bunn Command Center costs upwards of two grand, where mine costs upwards of $40, $50. Do you see a huge difference, especially in terms of the customer, your client? If your client had to choose or pick which one of these DJs, the DJ on the left with the white setup or the DJ on the right with the black setup, if they had to choose, do you think that they would choose one over the other or would they say, you know what? They both look like DJ setups. They both look professional. They're both very neat. Either one is fine. 
I personally think that's what a client would think. That's what they would decide on. They would say, I don't care. They truly wouldn't care, especially if the DJ was a good DJ and was rocking the party and doing everything he was supposed to do. These two setups, it wouldn't matter. Here, let me show you another picture of my setup. All right, now here is my setup in white. Okay, so here's my setup in white versus the Joe Bunn style on the left. You know, they're both white. Actually, I think mine looks better. It's lit up, <laughs> you know, especially when you see it in person. And once again, my table only costs about 50 bucks, where on the left, that one is about three grand. Mine folds up and fits neatly in the back of my SUV, where that other one is not that easy. All right, let me show you another picture. Okay, here's a gig I was doing. And I mean, now, how professional and neat does that look? Because I think a lot of DJs, they say they're trying to get away from the folding table because it wasn't neat. And you need a facade to hide all the wires and all that. I've never understood that. That's another thing I don't understand 100% is facades because I never have my wires showing. I never have a cluttered setup and I never use a facade and I always have a neat setup. Let me show you another one. There's a setup I was using at another club, a local club here, and that's all my equipment. I got the KW181 sub in front of it. And I mean, if you look on my table, it's not cluttered. It's very neat. No reason for a facade at all. And me, I like people to be able to see what I'm doing. I like them to see me scratching and mixing. And I like my equipment shown like that, you know. Let me show you another picture. Okay, that's when I was DJing at this outdoor spot. And you see that the setups are very similar. Uh, in the Joe Bunn Command Center, they're using Evolve 50s. Here, I'm using Evolve 50s. Both setups look very professional, in my opinion, except one is $3,000 less. It's a no-brainer for me. But hey, if you like that type, if you like that Joe Bunn Command Center type, more power to you. Spend the money, make yourself happy, you know, do it. Let me show you another picture. Now check this one out. Look at that there. That's another gig I was doing. And I even mounted some lights on top of my EV50s. I put some cool LED par lights uh, on the floor to uplight the EV50s, uplight my table. And it just looks really, really elegant. And this was at a, another club gig at a casino. Looks very elegant. Once again, $50 versus $3,000. The point I'm trying to make here is, is it really worth three grand? In the big scheme of things, is it really worth it? Or is it more of a, well, you just want it. You know, you see other DJs with it and you go, ooh, that looks cool or something new, something different. I, I want to have that. I yeah, it's three grand, but oh, well, so what? It's my money. I'm going to spend it on it and I'm going to I'm going to get it. I think it's more of that. Right. Because, I mean, look. Does it really look that much better than a regular banquet table or folding table with a nice scrim and lights and neat, you know, the. Uh, great cable management does it really look better <laughs> I don't think so not to me <laughs> let me show you one last picture here it's the same setup but just a different view right there that's to the side I mean look at that look how, look how cool that looks man look how cool that looks and once again I can break that little folding table down it takes up hardly no room in my little SUV. 50 bucks versus 3,000 bucks. So, I don't know you guys. That's it. That's about all I have for you today. So, tell me, what are you guys using in the comments? And this is no judgment. There is no right or wrong answer. 
It's whatever you like. That's all that matters. Whatever you use and it looks neat and professional and your client is happy with it, who am I to say if it's good or bad? Mm -mm. As long as you're satisfying your clients, that's all that matters. Okay, so this is going to do it for me. If you like what you saw here today, I would appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button. Make a comment. It's all good. Thank you so much for watching this far, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out, you guys. Your boy, DJ Too Legit.